far too many of us are familiar with the joint discomfort associated with aging. Now there is promising new research showing that a unique dietary supplement containing highly bioavailable forms of the major constituents of human joints may reduce the discomfort and may even give us the freedom to participate in everyday activities again. Joint discomfort is very common, affecting more than 33 million Americans from all walks of life spanning from young adults to baby boomers and beyond. Joint degeneration is considered a normal part of aging, the result of, wear, of years of wear and tear on our bodies. Now, Hector Lopez, MD, a board certified doctor in physical medicine and rehabilitation with concentration in non-surgical spine, sports and orthopedic medicine and chief medical officer principal of the Center for Applied Health Sciences, a leading nutritional supplement in Medical Foods Research Institute, has found that supplementing our diets with the three major constituents found naturally in our joints gives people relief from their joint symptoms without experiencing the typical side effects associated with prescription drugs and over-the-counter discomfort relievers. Dr. Lopez, nice to have you here with us. Thanks for having me, Kelly. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Is it really true that there is a way that we can supplement our diet with, with nutritional supplements and without having to use drugs or over-the-counter pain prescriptions without any side effects? Well, Kelly, I think first it's important to understand, uh, get a little bit of background in terms of what makes up connective tissue. So it's important to understand that there are three main structural elements that make up connective tissue, such as joint cartilage. Uh, first, there are cells mm -hmm. which make up the, the matrix, and these cells in the case of joint cartilage are called chondrocytes. Mm -hmm. Secondly, there are protein fibers, the most common of which we hear about all the time is collagen. collagen. The third component that's important is actually what makes up the matrix, the jelly-like background in which the cells and the protein fibers have to be embedded in. These are called glycosaminoglycans, that's a mouthful, but um, the most common, which some may have heard, is uh, chondroitin sulfate right. and hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. Now, interestingly enough, you know, it's important to understand that these are, this tissue, connective tissue, is not just a static tissue that just sits there and doesn't really do much. It's actually a very dynamic, uh, living, breathing tissue whereby there's kind of an ebb and flow, or it's kind of an orchestra, if you will, of buildup and breakdown, and that's really what makes up metabolism of the tissue at the cellular level. Uh, interestingly enough, the uh, ingredient we're going to be talking about today, biocell collagen, right. actually contains those three main constituents, the collagen as well as two unique uh, glycosaminoglycans, hyaluronic acid and chondroitin sulfate. But moreover, what makes them even more unique and what makes it even more differentiated as, a, as an ingredient is that they are hydrolyzed meaning they're broken down into lower molecular weight. And this is unique relative to other joint supplements on the market. Is that better? Does it make it more effective? Absolutely. So having a lower molecular weight actually has been shown to improve the bioavailability of these constituents. So the bioavailability of the constituents, does that lead to better absorption? Exactly. So better absorption, which then leads to better utilization where you need it the most in those joint structures and those connective tissues. So may I ask you a question? Sure. All right. So you talk about the process of this matrix of ingredients, and you talk about the absorption properties and the fact that it's so bioavailable. What about the potency or the efficacy of these ingredients? These ingredients in terms of safety and efficacy, uh, the ingredient that we're talking about, biocell collagen, has actually been studied in a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial. And this is important because that is essentially the gold standard of clinical research. It tells us as a researcher or as a clinician, it basically tells us that this research is of high quality, it's more reliable mm -hmm. whenever you're assessing the safety and effectiveness of any intervention, be it a nutritional product, a, a medication, or anything else. So mm -hmm. uh, this is the type of research that was done on this particular ingredient. You know, you and I were talking earlier on, 
and um, you, know, you were rattling off some interesting statistics talking about the collagen molecule itself. It's smaller, 100 times smaller than typical collagen off the shelf, but that the amount of collagen in the biocell versus a typical off the shelf collagen, that it's five times stronger than what you would normally have to take? Yeah, exactly. So the, the typical collagen uh, products right. uh, usually need to be consumed in a dose of up to 10 grams. Uh, what's nice about the clinical research that's been done on biocell collagen is that it was done using only two grams. Wow. And that shows you, again, the potency and the efficacy of this particular ingredient. Uh, so two grams is what was used in that study on subjects who had joint discomfort. That's amazing, isn't it? It is, wow. absolutely. So you can use less and have greater benefits. Absolutely, absolutely. Of course, that's my math. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it does work. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, um, uh, even though there are 14 different types of collagen, which is also another important fact, uh, this particular type is collagen type 2. And the reason that's key is because type 2 collagen is actually the primary type of collagen that's found in joint cartilage, which is really what we're going after here. Wow. So when you talk about rehabilitation and, and the body breaking down being, being a common side effect of aging, that may not necessarily be the case here, once, if you have biocell collagen. Right, well, it's interesting because uh, some of the outcomes from this particular research study uh, that was uh, performed in uh, over 80 subjects mm -hmm. uh, actually shows that um, one of the intriguing things is not only did the joint discomfort improve, as a matter of fact, 40% of those individuals who were taking the biocell collagen saw greater than a 30% reduction in pain, as opposed to less than 3% wow. in the placebo group. That's huge. Uh, it is. And, and, and moreover, it was uh, also interesting that we saw improvements in joint mobility, which leads to quality of life. I think, isn't that what BioCell, after listening to you speak, BioCell is all about you know, healthy living and healthy aging, having a better quality of life from the inside out. Absolutely. You supplement, Absolutely. you have better quality joints, better mobility, better quality skin. You know, you look in the mirror, you feel better about yourself. Perhaps you might want to participate in life a little bit more. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd like to call it metabolic optimization, I which like is a that. fancy term. Can but I quote you? Sure. Okay. Metabolic free. optimization, I like it. <laughs> so, and in doing so, we're able to basically bridge the gap between conventional methods hmm. for treating joint discomfort and, um, and you know, nutritional strategies which are safe and effective. H how important is nutrition to overall health and well-being? Oh, it's, it's incredibly important. I mean, when you think about the fact that uh, everything we eat has chemical consequences. I tell my patients that all the time. Uh, and, and so, uh, therefore, what we're eating uh, is affecting not just our structure, but also our function. So we're able to affect everything from metabolism to providing the necessary constituents, like in this case, for uh, tissues that we're interested in improving. You know, we're not, we're not getting all the nutrients that we need, and there's certain elements that our body can't create or make more of, especially as we age, our body, for whatever reason, decides to, to slow down, whether it's collagen or hyaluronic acid. So this matrix, the hyaluronic acid, the collagen, and the... And yes. the glucose aminoglycans, that, chondroitin sulfate. That, yeah, that too yeah. creates an. Is, is it actually a naturally occurring matrix within our body that already exists? Oh, absolutely. So, um, as I mentioned before, the, the, the three main components again are collagen, chondroitin sulfate, and hyaluronic acid in the, in the product. And that's what you find wow. in actual tissue within the human body, in the joint tissue. So, biocell collagen is providing that back into our body in, in, a, in a better formulation more potent, better bioavailability for absorption, for peak performance. And can I say the word repair? Is that an okay word I think word you can say? say there's, there's uh, signs to support that it has some regenerative properties or characters, so regenerative. I, I like yeah. that even yeah. better. <laughs> regenerative? I like yeah. that even yeah. better. That's so, amazing, so, isn't and it? And of course, um, uh, you know, that's actually exciting because what that tells us is that this is something that can be utilized in the young, active, adult all the way through the baby boomer population and beyond. So, doctor, mm -hmm. so what this tells me is that we really don't have to get old and get all of the conditions associated with the aging process as long as we, as we eat well, exercise, and of course, take biocell collagen. Well, it's a major, major component to healthy living for sure, absolutely. All right, now all you need to do is go to the website, which is biocelltechnology.com. 
and I will repeat that again, BioCellTechnology.com to learn more about BioCell Technology and of course the BioCell Collagen.